Since its official proposal in 1954 by Hugh Everett III, the idea of parallel universes had boggled the minds of scientists, philosophers, bloggers, and common folk alike. Perhaps there is an alternative existence right besides us, or perhaps people who walk past on the streets are just from another universe. Our only information about these alternate realities come from the tales of people who claim they found dimensional slips and travel to an unforgettable world. Here are three cases of interdimensional travel. On a normal day in 1954, a seemingly normal man allegedly flew into Tokyo. But upon landing at the Tokyo International Airport, his trip had suddenly taken a very drastic turn of events. When he handed over his passport to be stamped, the man was immediately interrogated as to the whereabouts of his origin. This wasn't a case of racial profiling or anything, while his passport looked authentic and listed a country that no one has ever heard of, called Torrid. The mystery man claimed his country was located between France and Spain, but when he was asked to point it out on the map, he pointed to an area which is called Andorra. Insisting he had never heard of Andorra and that the mystery man had said that Torrid had existed for a thousand years, he claimed that he was in Japan on a, on a business trip. Something he had been doing for the past 5 years. Passports seemed to back up his story as it was covered in previous customs and visa stamps. He also carried with him legal currency from several European countries. He even had a driver's license issued by the mysterious country and a checkbook containing checks from an unknown bank. After more interrogation and confusion for both parties, the traveler was sent to a nearby hotel until an official decision could be reached. There, two immigration officers stood outside the hotel door until morning. It was then that they discovered the mysterious man had vanished without a trace. Which was more mysterious since the only possible exit was a window with no ledge 15 stories above a busy street. Tokyo Police Department conducted an extensive search but continually came up empty handed. Hopefully, if he was really from a parallel earth, he was able to find a way back to the comforts of his home in Torrid. While many people have attempted to recreate the famous styling of the Beatles, none have been able to match their unique vibe that made them so revolutionary. Goes by the name of James Richards, claims he was chasing his dogs through Del Perito Canyon in California. While he was chasing his dog, he tripped in a rabbit hole and knocked himself unconscious. Upon waking up, he found himself in a room next to an unrecognizable machine with a man who introduced himself as Jonas. According to the strange man, while on a work-related trip for a dimensional travel agency, he had used the machine to transport Richard to a parallel earth in order to help him. While they were in the room, they both struck up a conversation and it led into the topic of music which led Jonas and Richard to talk about the Beatles, a band that both dimensions shared. To Richard's surprise, in this alternate dimension, the Beatles were all alive and still creating music. Once Richard was all healed up, the mysterious man gave him a souvenir, which was a cassette tape entitled Everyday Chemistry that was composed of Beatles songs that were never released in our dimension. Ong's Hat, New Jersey was founded around the 19th century by a man named Ong after he threw his hat in the air and lost it to a tree branch. By the 1920s, the city had become a ghost town, but Ong's Hat was never forgotten. The abandoned town became the topic for one of the earliest internet-based conspiracy theories. In the 1970s and 80s, a new scientific group called Chaos. This group was concerned with everyday experiences such as the sound of a fan or the buzzing of a computer. Two Chaos scientists named Frank and Athea developed a theory. The consciousness could be molded as its own universe. And then the ability to control the chaos and possibly travel to another dimension would be achieved. According to claims, three other scientists joined the group and started to fund the Underground Institute of Chaos Studies in Ongzat, New Jersey. It was here that they discovered the gate to an alternate dimension by putting scientists in a modified sensory deprivation chamber. The Chaos scientists call it the Egg. Allegedly, they succeeded and mastered the science of interdimensional travel. On their exploration, they discovered a role that never developed human life but sustained plant life and water. The chaos scientists who ventured to this unknown role then decided to stay there and continue to work on their projects in seclusion. Here were three cases of interdimensional travels. As you can see, these other dimensions are sometimes very different from our own, 
or sometimes the differences could be very small. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next video.